Hello. In this video, you'll go over checking out items for library patrons. Go to the checkout function in Sierra. Click Yes to print date due slips. Scan the patron's library card. If they do not have their library card with them, ask the patron for an ID and look up the patron by name. Some patrons have their library barcode saved to their phone. The phone barcode is an acceptable substitute for the physical library card. Some newer barcode scanners can scan the barcode from the phone, but if your library has an older scanner, you'll need to type in the barcode number. Any messages associated with library cards will pop up when the card is scanned. Some messages might require you to update the card or confirm contact information. Next, check to make sure the library card belongs to the person standing in front of you. Sometimes patrons will try to use a parent, child, or spouse's card. Unless the patron has made arrangements with the library ahead of time, this is not allowed. Library cards are non-transferable. To verify that the person or patron is using the correct library card, check the name, gender, or age listed in the library card record. Some library cards also have pictures. Check for fines and inform the patron if they owe money. If the patron owes more than $5, they must pay off the fine before they can check out. To, co to collect a fine, click on the fine box on the left side of the screen. Click the box next to the fine you're collecting, and then click the Collect Money button. In the Collect Money box, enter the amount of money you are collecting. Then choose from the drop down box the payment method cash, check, or credit card if your library accepts it. Then, click Print to print a fine receipt for the patron. Next, look at the Checked Out Items box. If this is in red, it means the patron has an overdue item checked out. Inform the patron they have an overdue item and offer to try to renew it for them. Next, inspect any AV items that the patron is checking out. Unlock cases if needed, and then check to make sure that the correct disks are in the cases. For checking out items, make sure the cursor is in the search box. Look for any items that belong to libraries without RFID. These items must be scanned with the barcode scanner. If your library uses RFID, place all other items on the RFID pad, check them out, and turn their security off. Remember, there are some items that still have an old format barcode, but don't start with 352. For those items, you might need to type in the first 11 digits of the barcode because some RFID pads and barcode scanners won't read these. Occasionally, message boxes will pop up while you're checking out items. Read these messages carefully before proceeding. One common message that pops up occurs if a patron is picking up holds for somebody else. Each library has a different policy on patrons checking out other people's holds, so please check with your supervisor to learn about your library's policy. Remember, the message that pops up will say, item on hold shelf, or... Another common message will notify you if a patron has placed the item on hold, but it hadn't yet been pulled. In this case, you should check out the item to the patron at the desk. This message will say, item on hold for. Next, look at the holds box. If this is in red, the patron still has an item ready for them on the hold shelf. Let the patron know that the item is available for pickup. Lastly, click the close button and a due date slip will automatically print for the patron. All right, thank you for watching the checking out um, items training video. Have a great day.